Guys, I have been thinking about creating a complete guide to beginning on Upwork. So um, if you are new um, to, to freelancing, maybe you are thinking of becoming a freelancer, I have been thinking about making a complete course on how you can start as a freelancer up to the level of you applying for your first job on Upwork. If you are new to this channel, my name is Jesse Kamara. I am a full-time freelancer and a professional product manager on Upwork. I have worked there for 18 months and um, I'm sharing my experience. I've made some strides. If you have seen some of the videos, you will see um, the repetition that I've built on Upwork. So um, some of these videos that I'm making, some of them are very raw in the sense that I don't spend too much time to edit them. And it's a deliberate act because I want to make sure you see me making all of those mistakes so that you can learn from them. If you are already an existing freelancer on the platform, you can skip to certain areas of the video so that you'll be able to learn one or two things from my own experience so you can improve your own um, career on Upwork. So in this video, what we are going to do is basically I'm going to talk about the mindset that you need to build to become a freelancer. And then we are going through to the computer and create an account. Next, we are going to optimize our profile so that we are ready for, um, for freelancing. The next step will be for us to search for a job. And then what we'll do is to apply for a job. So basically, I'm going to take you from the beginning when you are just thinking of becoming a freelancer and then applying for your first job for the first time. All right. So if you're already struggling with certain concepts, I think this video will be good for you so that you'll be able to see me walk through all of these processes, all of these stages up to the level where you, you will be able to apply for your first job. So stay with me. The video is a bit um, long but it's worth it if you stay with me because I'm sharing my experience. As I always tell you, I am here serving as your mentor. I am not here to give you all of these um, fancy things. I actually show you things that, um, that are working. And even um, the example that we are going to look at is an example from a freelancer that I coached and now she is doing well on the platform. So that's why I normally encourage you to stay tuned whether you are from any continent or any country or maybe if you are not understanding my the, the, the my english may, you can see um, the caption so you can read through but you'll be able to learn something now let's get to what we need to do today so here is the thing when um there is a difference between um being a freelancer and working nine to five when you are working as a nine to five professional one thing you have to know is that there are structures. Basically, there is somebody who is responsible to manage people. They are responsible to monitor you to come to work on time. They are responsible for um, contracts and all of those things. Somebody is handling them. You are just going to work. If you are late for a few times, they will notify you that you are late, Jesse. You have to come to work early. So there are different departments that are responsible for finance, responsible for HR, responsible for different things. When you are we, on the flip side, when you are working as a freelancer, these things are handled by you. You are in charge. You are your own boss. So it means you will be managing the client. You will be managing HR, which means you have to show up in meetings early. You have to make sure you keep your schedule. You also make sure your finances are straight. All of these things are within your own domain. You are the one responsible to do all of these things. So it, 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 it is actually a huge um, shift. It's different from working nine to five, as you can see. So in that, in that case, you are expected to be a professional. And there is also a requirement for you to do a mind shift. All right. You have to shift your mind. What do I mean by this? Basically, you have to adjust the way you think, your mindset. You have to adjust it. And more especially if you are coming from a developing country, you will have a lot of challenges. Maybe you have language barrier, you have communication problems, and also even understanding certain concepts is difficult. But I can tell you, I have worked with freelancers. I have hired on the platform on Upwork. I have hired freelancers who hardly speak English. But they are really good at their job. So, but what they do is, if they cannot speak properly, they write properly. 
you see so you have to balance and for people that are living in the united states um in the uk in europe they are lucky because most people most clients are sorting like they they go after these freelancers but somebody who is coming from a developing country you are have multiple challenges apart from um having um electricity problem having a proper sitting um area maybe um having um, um internet issues you have even your looks right your your accent and other things that are affecting you so you have to fight all of those things to make it on the platform but now nonetheless these things should not be a, a barrier to you you should not look low upon yourself because you are the only person who is able to tell somebody what you're worth don't allow a client to tell you what you're worth okay and to be honest with you for all the clients that have worked with they are they are respectful if you can only perform what you said you can do all right they will always be respectful they respect you and they they show you they treat you as a human being there are only um um like few cases wherein you see a client disrespecting you just because they want to disrespect you so what i'm saying is you have to act as a professional if you act as a professional a client will treat you as a professional okay so um your professionalism has to be really up there you have to make sure it is up there and you have to show up early on meetings you have to make sure your communication is good you have to learn how to communicate as a professional you have to um, 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 know how to interact with clients now some of these topics when it comes to your mindset your client interaction i have created separate videos that are on this channel which you can go and watch some of these i actually go in depth and provided examples all right so especially communication is very very important you need to learn that so go and check how to do um professional interviews with clients check that video it can help you a lot and i'll be mentioning some these kind of videos as we go along because i want you to learn to go in depth so i want you to note down what i want you to do is as you watch this video note down key things that i'm mentioning and that i've already created videos for so you go and check those videos so that you can learn the basics so basically you have to have a, a, a mindset shift and once you adjust your mindset you know that i'm going to manage everything by myself nobody will be asking me to come to work early or whether i'm late or not because i'll be managing everything by myself then it means you are ready to become a freelancer so freelancing is very simple when you when you you are already at that particular point wherein you are getting jobs but at the beginning it requires you to work very hard this is not like a quick win or a quick a fast um scheme wherein um you say um um just do this and then like a plug and play it's not like that's not how freelancing is and it's the best way to start your business online i must tell you because when you freelance you get money and then you can start other businesses you can diversify so this is why it is important that you do the upfront work when you do the upfront work you build your, your reputation you start getting jobs that's how freelancing works i don't want to waste much of your time so um let's move on to the next thing which is creating an account so i'm going to share my screen and then i want you to stay with me all right and uh, before we move to that let me just say this um about 80 percent of you watching this program i mean about 80 percent of you guys watching this video you have not subscribed to the channel so if you are one of those people i want to encourage you to subscribe because i really want to build this channel in such a way that it will reach a lot of people and those people can also share it so the more it grows the more we can get people that can come into freelancing because i'm providing all of this experience because i want more people to understand and learn about freelancing they can start their business online online so we can reduce unemployment all right so if you are with me on that please hit that subscribe button i will really appreciate that and thank you for doing that all right now let's go to the computer i'm going to share my screen all right so uh, i want to create a temporary email like a disposable email and then um create the account using that email so the reason for that is this is a test account and i want to make sure um i have an email that i can use for that all right okay so this is the email let's copy that and 
then I will just go again to Google search and then let me see so let's 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 open up Upwork so let's go to Upwork so I am basically I'm working in incognito the reason is I want to make sure um, we start from scratch the account is a very new and fresh account so as you can see um, this is um, Upwork you can read through the the website it's uh, the website is very professional and I really I really like the way the website is structured let me check to make sure <laughs> all right um, sharing my screen good all right so um, as you can see the website it really looks good it's professional and when you come to the website you can check the different domains that they have different groups these are different categories that they have but you can take a look around all right just read around it's 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 normal like it's very easy there is everything you everyone has something to do here so as you can see you have the design and it group i mean category rather and then you ai um, services you have design and creative services you have this all these different categories are available so what we need to do is to create an an account all right so now they are asking join us as a client or a freelancer so what which account do we want to create we want to create a freelancer account so we just go there and click freelancing so there are different things we can do one of them is to either use your google account to create your account so this will just take your google email and create your account directly or you can use your 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 name and first name and last name okay so i will say peter um i will just choose uh peter james so this is just like uh, a name that i've chosen and um i'm just posting the email this is the email that i created the temporary email and then i'll create like a, a password all right so let's see which password that will work um, okay let's see okay my that's my country's really don't help no so sometimes too short okay all right they said the password is too short so let's try another password okay Okay, now I think it works. So as you can see, this was like <laughs> I was trying to generate a password. Um, so uh, let's go there. So congratulations, your account has been created. Boom, man! This is it. Like creating this account, some people spend a lot of time. And one thing I can advise you is, you don't need to spend too much time to create your account. You just need to go there. Just create your account. It does not. Have, there is nothing wrong about it. Okay verification will be done later but just create your account so now we are required to verify our account now this verification is different from the verification i was talking about just now this is just to verify your email this particular one that we are going to do so this is an email verification that we received so we need to verify the the account so um the email so this is an email verification so there are let me say this again guys um, there are two um, verification. You have the one when you are creating your account, you are asked to verify your email. And then there is the verification of your Upwork account, which is done when you get your first job. That's when they will ask you to do that verification, okay? So I'll just click that to verify. Congratulations, your account is verified. So it means my account now is now active. So I'm just going to close this tab. So as you can see here, Hi, hey Peter, ready for your next big opportunities, all right? Answer a few questions and start building your profile, okay? Apply for open rules or uh, list services for client to buy. So what we need to get um, um, started, right? So you can read through, this is how your profile will look like when you created it. So let's get started. All right, so I am a brand new to I am brand new to this, all right? I have some experience, I am an expert, so we're going to start as brand new. So they are asking us whether you are already somebody who has an experience, so you can do so. Uh, then let's go. You can also, got it, what's your biggest goal for freelancing to earn my main income? 
So I'll just put that. You can select any of these options. These are basic questions that they just ask you. Just this is just questions that Upwork wants to collect information from you. It's um, something that you can skip. You can skip them if you want to. So it is okay for you to skip if you want to. So it's fine. So um, open to contract. I so I will put here. I am open to contract to hire. What this means is that if you you got if you get a job on the platform, are you open to become um, to be hired maybe for full time on the platform? If you are open to that, you can select that. But you, even if you don't select this at this moment, when you are applying for a job, you will be asked that question again. So it's not to yeah. So it's not like something that you have to do at all costs. So but these are things that you can just select as you go through the um, account creation. I would like to find opportunities myself. I would like to package up my work. So there are two types of um, um, profiles that you can create on Upwork. Not, let me correct that, that's not correct. Actually, you can create two types of opportunities for yourself. So you can come and create a specialization. Say, for instance, you can create yourself as a virtual assistant, or you can create uh, a profile as a, as a project manager, right? And then people can come and hire you as a project manager to manage your own project. Or you can do something else, which is, um, let's say you are a skilled person. Let's say you can um, design logos. Let's say you are a designer, you have um, skills to design logos, you have that expertise. You can say, I will design a logo for you if you pay me um, $100. I can design a logo for you with all the, um, um, the different artifacts that goes with a logo. I will design those and then give them to you for $100. So you can create a project like that and sell it. So if I come as a client, I will buy that package. And then you say, so what, what they are saying is whether you want to do that, all right? You can select both or you can just select a single one. For us, we just want to select, I want to, uh, I would like to find opportunity myself all right so we can do that so this is important for you to understand that distinction but if you yeah so that it's easier for you don't get confused you can select but it does not matter even though i have just selected one of those options i can still go and create those packets they will still give me that option and i will show it to you later so let's let's see now we are here how would you like to tell us about yourself so they want me to tell them about myself right so what do i do um, some I can upload um, 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 my CV right from LinkedIn, and it's important. Let me mention this to you guys. If you don't have a LinkedIn account, please go there and create a LinkedIn account. It's important. Some clients actually go to LinkedIn to check to see if you have um, a profile there. It just helps you, like, it just makes you look professional. It's not a requirement, but you can do it. I would advise you to do so. Or you can upload a CV if you already have that. If you already have a CV, you can upload it or you can fill out the, the, the 15 minutes questionnaire. All right. So that's what we are going to do. We are going to fill this out. So let's go. Um, so what's your role? So today we're going to use, um, as I said initially, that we're going to use um, a virtual assistant whom I actually coached and she's currently doing, um, she started a career on Upwork and she's doing well. I think she started well and she's going on very well she might not be happy to see this actually <laughs> she might not be happy that i'm going to i'm going to use her profile um this is she is a virtual assistant okay she's a so today guys we are going to use a virtual assistant whom i coached and uh she may not be very happy with this when she sees that i'm using her profile but i just wanted to use a real profile on Upwork to create this account so that it's easier for you guys to just um, follow through, all right? So you see how your information is organized when you are finished um, setting it up. So she might not be very happy for me to show you, to use our profile to do this, but I'm going to use it anyway. Don't copy the information as I normally advise you. You don't need to copy her profile. You just need to copy her method, all right? Don't copy what for what, what she has done. You just need to copy. There are so many profiles there on on the platform and this is also another important point that i want to make some of these points i'm making it i know sometimes you feel like oh you are explaining too much the reason is i am your mentor so you have to listen to me whether i'm wasting your time or not <laughs> i don't want to waste your time anyways but what i'm saying is um if if you go to upwork you can look at study the profiles of people that are doing well already on the platform it can help you to create your own method and craft your own way 
of designing your profile to help you find jobs. Not just to find jobs, but also clients can easily spot your profile and invite you for jobs. This is critical. So let's go. So now today we're going to use this profile and she has created a very, very important, um, a very professional profile. So we're going to use that as an example. So um, virtual assistant, project management, social media management, all right? So here is what we're going to do. This is what we are asked to kind of add a title. That's the title to tell the world that what you do, right? Okay. So with that, we move on to the next. So your experience. So experience, this is, where is it shown on, the, on, the, on, your, on your profile? It is shown at the bottom. This is not your Upwork experience. This is your professional experience. Let's say you've worked as a, like you can see employment history. Let's see, yes, that's what they mean, right? Add experience. So this is like your employment history. And this is where I would say, if you are somebody who has already worked um, as a nine to five person, and um, you are coming to the Upwork platform, this is where you need to take advantage, wherein you have to, you can use your previous work experience and explain it on here so that clients will see what you have done previously so that you add it here, all right? That can give you an edge. However, if you are a new person, like you've never um, um, worked before, what I would advise you to do is to work on projects. You can go, you can volunteer. One way you can volunteer to get experience and then use that as your portfolio or you can create a project let's say for instance you know how to use excel you can just write a short a, a, you can just write um a short project that says for instance um, um create visualization for this database you no know, you explain how the project should should happen what are the objectives and the goals of that project and then work on it when you finish that will serve as your experience and you can even add that to your portfolio this is really important. I've seen a lot of people asking me how to get your portfolio. I'm going to explain this in detail when we get to the portfolio section, but I just wanted to mention that. So these are the two ways you can show your experience. So let's say we are just going to add one thing. This is yes, um, employment history. So we come here and click. Okay, she has served as a, a personal um, company. So um, crowd digital media all right um location this is Leon. um all right uh, i'll just uh so that this is city all right free time all right so if, if you are currently working there you just need to tick this all right um so let me just to make things simple for myself mm -hmm. okay so here you can add like a description, all right? So you can just take any of these descriptions. So you can see she has listed one thing that she, you see the way she created her profile there. I mean, the, the job description, she has listed it like what she was doing, very specific. This is really important to see. Like she, she indicated specifically the things that she was doing, uh, make um, um, three plans and so on, right? So basically, you have to be very specific. You don't need to write too much. That's the mistake that most people do. They want to write like long essays. Don't write long essays. Just um, what you need to do, just be specific. So we are just going to, we are just going to copy that. I just want to copy that and, and paste because I don't want to um, waste your time. So you can see. Um, so I'll just put here made. move on right next so this is it so we can add another one if you want but i'm just going to leave it one because i think you get the point so we don't need to waste too much time because we have a lot to cover so education so here you need to add the university you went to so we going to we are going to fly up to her education let's see where is it um i'm not saying okay all right, let's just, I'll just put something. Um, university of Rome. I'm just going to put a 
engineering. I'm just going to put something like anything. Electronics engineering from 2020 to 2024. Then you can put a description of that, right? So this is my degree, degree program. So this description normally is just like maybe you during your university time, you did like a project that that's can explain your experience as a freelancer. So depending on what specialization you want to put. For us, we are a virtual assistant. Let's say, for instance, um, we worked on some Excel sheets. Um, so I will say my this degree program, okay, from this degree program, I learned X, Y, and Z. Normally, I don't put much. I don't put description for me like it's normally blank. I just leave it. I don't want to overcomplicate things because there are so many places you can provide your experience. Your portfolio, you can show your experience. Yes, you can also show your experience on your um, um, job experience, your job history, the, 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 the last section we just left. So moving on to the next place, looking good. Next, tell us which languages you speak, right? I only speak English. So English by default is selected. So I put fluent. I am not a native English speaker. Now some clients, when they, when they send their job post, they will require somebody, if you are just, if your English is not good, you don't have to lie. You can say you speak basic English, but you can write English very well, all right? Or conversational English. If you speak, don't put basic um, English, just put conversational. Maybe you can, if you only know how to write English, then you can put basic English, all right? I write clearly in this language, so it means it's basic. But if it is conversational, it means you can write and also speak the language very well. Then you can put conversational. But fluent is mostly what I put because I'm not too, I'm not an English person. I'm not born as an English person. So English is just a language that I learned. So as you can see, as you may have observed, I'm struggling to speak English. All right. So I just put that. If you know how to speak French, of course, you can add that as well. So now you can see here, the next section is that you need to select the skill sets that you have. Now, based on what I have added as my title, because I added virtual assistant, project management, and social media management, you can see Upwork has intelligence built into their platform. They kind of highlighted already some of the things or some of the skill sets that I may, that they think I, I, I should, I, I may have, right? Like the, the things that they think I should have based on what I've already, the title that I've selected. So that's why you need to select a title that makes sense in your field, right? So social media management is something, public relation, virtual assistant, yes, um, management skill, public relations, yeah, I'll just put management skills, uh, reception skills. So I'll just stop there. You can add up to 15 skills, all right? So if you want to search for additional skills, you can just go there and type, let's say, requirement. All right, requirement analysis, you can select that so like that. So it's very easy. You can just go and select, let's say, uh, social, okay, social media accounts, all right, account setup. So I can add that. So as you can see, you can search and then they will give you suggestions. So if the skill is not there, you can still type it, type the full name of that skill and then press enter it will still accept that skill, that skill, that, that, that particular skill set, okay? Now, write a bio. So this is where the, the thing gets serious. You need to be able to write a professional bio. Most people rush into writing anything that they want to write. Now, the other mistake that I've seen is people go to ChatGPT and just write whatever they think ChatGPT can give them. Now, ChatGPT can be a starting point. Don't get me wrong. ChatGPT is a very good tool. You can use it as a starting point. Go there, give some details about yourself, and ask ChatGPT to summarize it for you as, a, as a, an Upwork bio. And then when ChatGPT spits out whatever it spits out for you, what you need to do is to sit down, go through that information, and organize it so that it sounds like a human being that actually that. A human being has actually written that particular bio. 
don't depend on AI. And people are very sensitive to AI these days. That's another warning that I want to give you. People are very sensitive because they will sense it that this is something that is AI-ish or chat ish and then they will just discard it. Okay, the language that ChatGPT uses is very common. People are familiar with this. So you yourself, when you are reading something, you will know that this is this came from ChatGPT. You will just figure it out. So that's also how other people are figuring it out. So you have to be careful when um, creating your bio, right? So we're just going to copy um, what this um, um, lady has done. She has a very professional. Um, um, she has a very professional um, um, profile. I just want to talk a bit about the profile. So you can see there is this very strong statement here that explains what she is, right? And then she went ahead and stated like some of the key things that she has done. You can see coordinate, coordinate and schedule meetings. What she has. I have worked as an administrative assistant to tech startup and I was responsible for coordinate and schedule meetings manage customers and their concerns answering calls and and so on so you can see all of this she's very very specific about those i have also served as a personal assistant to the ceo of a tech company assisting with run errands as requested take accurate and comprehensive notes at meetings so you can see i am familiar with the following tools so you see so what i want you to learn here is this now she has a summary the, 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 the bio is divided into um, um, kind of, she, she, there is like some kind of grouping, right? She, 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 the bio is divided into categories. So she has this summary where she summarizes her, her competence, who she is. She said, I'm a professional virtual assistant and have provided administrative support to executives, companies, and team across varieties of industry. I am quick to respond to requests for information so you see she is now telling you if you are a client if i am a client reading this i would basically learn about what to expect from this freelancer and guess what Mo the majority of the jobs of this particular freelancer are actually coming as um, um invites she get like 80 to 90 percent of her work as of her work as invites people are inviting her to be part of to work for them. Why? Because she has written a very clear and precise um, um, upwork profile that just by reading this, you will know exactly what she is capable of doing. So guys, this is important. I know you, you, you are in a hurry, but I want you to be patient and learn some of these things. So that's also how my profile is very long. The reason is, I, I take my time to write it, all right, so to make sure that people understand. So you see, she has organized everything into categories. And then um, um, she also puts like a, concludes, a conclusion statement to, to show her commitment that when you hire me, this is what I'm going to do. This is what you're going to have, right? So I will just copy um, this part of the bio and then um, come to this box and uh, um, paste it there so that we don't have to write everything. Uh, maybe I can just do some part of it, okay? Yeah, 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 okay. All right, so let's see, let's see. I just want to add one more, one more content from her to just uh, make it look similar to what she has here, all right? Okay, because we are actually building an actual account. I'm going to copy her account. So I'll be competing with her on our jobs. <laughs> All right, so, okay. What are the main services you offer? So here you have to um, indicate what services do you offer. And it is important that also when you're writing your bio, you include keywords like virtual assistant. You saw on her bio, she added keywords like virtual assistant, data entry and all of those things because um, Upwork is using that to associate you with clients that are looking for virtual assistants who are doing those kind of things, right? So now they are asking you what are the main services that you provide. So I provide virtual assistant services. I will also say, okay, virtual assistant services. So if you want to provide other type of services, these are the groupings, right? Maybe you are providing, say, administrative Okay, here she's prov I'm providing project management, data entry, 
so guys let me begin this again so that you just see i just want to make sure um i'm zooming this so that you guys see so what i just did you have a drop down here when you click on it you see this so you see this box you have i have selected virtual assistant i can select data entry and transcript services i can select project management i can also do research and product review if i want to i can add other it services that i'm providing okay this is vibrate i don't know why this is like uh i would say like a, um, some some bug with this so you can provide different things if you want to perform in ads photography so I just select random things just to um show the demonstration there so you can see you can select so many things if you don't if you don't want any of this you can just remove that and click the x and click away from that so let's move on so these are the services that i'm providing now um they want you to select your rate all right so i showed you um this lady's um um, profiles you can see her rate is um uh, seven dollars per hour so now if you this area is a controversial area most people will come to the platform and put 100 dollars per hour 200 dollars per hour now you can put whatever you want but clients wants to pay for value so if you know you are a new person on the platform i'm not i will not suggest that you put one hundred dollars per hour because your experience maybe you are if you are maybe you are not too experienced you are just coming from college or maybe high school you just want to find some also i would say reduce your rates so that you get more gigs you get more jobs and then with time when you build your reputation you build your experience you can increase your rates all right so but if you are coming from a nine to five job and you are really experienced you're really good at what you're doing you have vast experience of course why not you can put your rate at where you want so now you can select by either putting um, a very high rate or you put a low rate for me i'll just put ten dollars per hour because i would assume that i'm, I'm just getting started here and uh, also sometimes let me just say five dollars man five dollars is fine like you think it's too much but it's fine when you are starting because you want to get your first job quickly and also you, you you also have the opportunity of changing that rate when applying for a job right but i just want to be very minimal very basic i am just a new person who just came from the university i'm trying to find my first job i want to build my reputation on upwork i also have the option of changing that rate when applying for a job so i'll put it at five dollar that's what I'm putting at five dollars. Now there are three rates. You have this is the rate that you are charging. All right, that rate is what you are charging. Now you have the service fee. So the service fee is ten percent of what you are charging. So if you are charging five dollars, ten percent of five dollars is what Upwork will charge you for you being a freelancer on their platform. And then they will tell you now what you will get. All right, that's what they mean by that. What you will get. So let me just zoom out again. Now if you come here, you'll be able to see. Um, what, I, what I was saying. So I charge $5 and then Upwork is taking 10%. This is automatically calculated. You don't have to, you, there is no escape in this. You have to pay this. And then uh, you will get 4.5%, uh, $4.5 when for hour. So this is an hourly rate. So let's move on to the next. This is not, you don't have a choice. You have to pay this if you want to use Upwork because, well, you, you can now imagine, I don't need to tell you. <laughs> All right, so um, let's say we are born in this age. So street address, 24 Lumley, Lumley, Lumley Road. All right, apartments, two, three. We have all the city free, free, okay. So city, Bo. Okay, both Southern Province and so on. Zip code 14, 24, all right. All right, now they are asking me for my phone number. <laughs> so they want you to, all right, oh, upload. Yes, they want you to upload a photo. So guys, I will have to look for a picture here. I don't have any picture prepared. Um, let me see if I can find something. Uh, all right, pictures, pictures, pictures. Do I have pictures here? All right, let me see. 
Okay, guys, you have to give me a minute, please. I was not thinking about this picture. <laughs> and doing this, but I must have some nice pictures here. Okay, so yeah, so what what you need to do is you need to find an appropriate picture that you can put. So I'll just put that one. It's the same picture that I have. Oh my god, this is beautiful. So you can adjust it, and it's very important that you adjust the picture in such a way that people can people can see your your face. And you can see that I'm smiling and somebody can see my face clearly. It's very important, guys. The reason is um, clients want to make sure they can see you. They know who they are dealing with. All right. So you cannot create an account for another person. So preview. Yeah. So now this is my profile. As you can see, as you, this is really, this, I'm, I'm looking very handsome here and looks beautiful. All right. So I'm going to submit this. So yeah, nice work. Peter, your profile is ready. Browse jobs, okay? View your profile or browse job. Now we've come to the next part. So guys, um, so yes, so I'm going to stop the recording and then say, um, at this moment we have, we have gotten to the point where in, um, where in we are going to work on the, the next phase of the of the of the of the. The the, the 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 video okay so guys we've reached at the point where we are now going to look at our profile that we created we've created our profile so we've done a great job so now we're going to optimize that profile so that it looks very professional and then you can start looking for those jobs that you're looking for all right so if you have not hit the subscribe button yet i still want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button because we want to reach a lot of people and i would be so appreciative if you can do this this is really this can really help the channel because as you can see i'm taking my time to uh, mentor you so you yourself you can also help this channel to grow thank you for doing that so let's go back to this the, the, the recording let's go back to the screen sharing rather all right so now we are here at this point where in they want us to view our profile we can go and view our profile all right this is our profile so when you get to the upwork platform for the first time this is how you see it so we are peter james and uh, now they are advertising all of these things so i am logged into the platform and that is why you see that all of these edits buttons showing on the, on this platform so i need to do a few things to optimize my account but then let's just navigate a few things here so here you can see my availability badge. If I want to turn it on, I can turn it on. But now um, Upwork, you have had no profile views in the last seven days and ads are a proven way to make. So these are just advertisements which you can read. But one of the first things that I will say you do is this part, all right? You promote with ads, right? Turn availability badge. So what does availability badge means? this is a badge that shows that you are available you are currently online all right that's what it is and there is boost your profile boost your profiles means that when a client posts a job on the platform they can easily find you all right so if you boost your profile the clients can easily see you and then they can invite you for the job if they want to invite you the choice of you being invited will be on the client side so for me, um, availability badge and um, availability badge is more important for me. Availability badge is more important than boosting your profile. So what you need to do here is you can turn it on, but it costs you $7. So $7, it costs you more connects. So when you create your account, Upwork gives you 50 connects. So connects, what are connects? If you are new to Upwork, you have to understand what connects is. So connect, these are points that you buy. Um, Upwork sells them $1.5, $1.5 for 10 connects. So 10 connects will cost you $1.5. But when you create your account, Upwork will give you 50 connects as your first uh, number of connects. And then every month, I think they give you something like 10 or so connects. I don't remember. I don't quite remember what the number is currently, but uh, they give you some connects just to help you go, to keep you going on the platform. So if your 50 connect that you have, you have to spend it wisely. And that's exactly what we are going to do. So you can turn on your connect, your, your badge here. If I turn it on, 
you've added the badge view profile so i can now view my profile and you will see um if i view the profile view as public now you see here now you can see the profile here guys available now now they have added this badge it was not there before but since i have paid them seven connect now they can turn it on to say i am currently available so clients can see this all right this is how the public will see your profile i'm now going to click how the public will see your profile so when somebody comes to your profile this is what they see they will see this availability badge here that you're available now and they will see your name this is the profile that i have as you can see you don't have all the things that probably um this client this um, um freelancer has like for instance their past history you can see how much they've made you can see um their language is verified they are fluent and creole as well see so their their account is also verified you don't have all of that those things will come later you don't have to worry about them okay for now just focus on building your repetition so we've done the the the, the, the first step which is i'm um, turning your profile on so that clients will know that you are available the next thing for us to do is um you can you can you can edit your language you can also look through your 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 profile to see which areas maybe when you are creating your account things that are not straight or they are not um, clear you can just quickly review you can even add some more skills if you want to you can um, add more projects you can create so i was talking about this projects project catalog if you want to add a project you can do so currently it's available to you and also if you have a testimonial what is a testimonial so let's say um let's say you have someone whom you have worked with before but it's off um, upwork it was not on upwork you can actually request a testimonial you can just click on this button you request a testimonial one thing you have to know is this person that you are requesting the testimonial from they have to have a business account so it means they are they must have a business email rather their email must not end with gmail.com or um, at gmail.com or at yahoo or at hotmail.com no they must have a business email so that they will be able to send they will be able to send you um, a testimonial so a testimonial is basically a way of you building your repetition if you are very new to the platform so somebody can say oh yes i have worked with jesse um jesse has been a great person and then upwork will verify that information and they will show that on the platform has verified that this particular testimony has been verified and it is true it can help you build the initial repetition on the platform for yourself so this is also a very important if you have any certifications you can add them here so things like for instance you've taken a google certification you've taken some certification on coursera or any other platform you can use those you can bring them here you can add a testimonial manually or you can import it using this particular tool that they've indicated here you can learn that that basic now the job history with which you have already already um, added you can add more if you want and also you can have other experiences let's say for instance um i have worked i have worked on personal projects that are that i think would be helpful as a virtual assistant to showcase i will add them here if you have them all right so guys this is like how you optimize your 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 profile and i have deliberately i have deliberately um skipped um portfolio because i want to talk about portfolio more 